Hello, I'm Joseph. I want to show you this setup here. So this is a drawing setup I have uh, using effectively like everything that's plugged into this device. I will say that as if I unplug and replug stuff in, something in, all these things start to do these wonky like unplug and replug effects, but it works. And now this is the Kindle Fire HD 10 Plus, which has the extra gig of RAM and wireless charging. In terms of this setup, this really does help, at least from the artist's perspective, because that extra gig of RAM helps with additional layers. And the wireless charging, which you have all this stuff still plugged in, you're not limited by how much battery is on this device here. So uh, I did make a previous video. You can go watch that on wireless charging specifically, because if you don't do the right type of wireless charging, it doesn't give the enough wattage it needs to keep it up and running, you're gonna run the issue. So this is full screen brightness. All the stuff is plugged in. Uh, so I have microphone, pen tablet, single-handed keyboard, uh, speakers in the back. I also have Ethernet plugged in, and then I have a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse here uh, to, you know, move stuff around. Now, you will probably know if you've tried uh, tablets with Android devices that uh, this should not work. Uh, all I'm doing, though, to make this work in that, like, the orientation, because uh, it'll usually, most tablets will force you into portrait mode. So you'd have to have your tablet like this way. And it's not, it's not a bad thing. The problem is it takes a lot of real estate to have that for like a big tablet and a big drawing um, um, tablet as well. Not, this is a medium, it's not big, but it just, it's just too much desk space to try to uh, accommodate for. So this is in portrait mode, but this is rotated and, and I'm using Artflow. And the way that Artflow works is that their UI is so well put out for any orientation that I can lock it in portrait mode and it's not confusing to use at all. I then have my, my, my tablet here. It is upside down currently to match the orientation of this actual uh, Android device here. So the, the Kindle Fire. And so now I have full access to this. Now, this is a 12 inch drawing tablet and this is a 10 inch pen tablet. If I made a choice again to pick something out specifically for drawing on android i would probably go a little bit smaller um, because uh, unless you have a 12 inch tablet with a 12 inch pen tablet it's i don't know it's still good enough but it still requires quite a bit of a, of a setup here and then i have my single um, hand keyboard here uh, to do some of the shortcuts because our flow does let you assign custom shortcuts to it i've not done that just yet but i wanted to go ahead and start that um, and with all this setup, it's, you know, it's a positive char rate, charge rate, even with full brightness. Uh, the one thing I do want to do is go ahead and start screen recording too, to see how much of an impact that's going to have. So let's go ahead and go home real quick, slide down. Actually, honestly, I'll tap the screen recording. This is called screen cam. Um, so Fire OS 7 does not have screen recording built in. Fire OS 8 does, but it's not available yet for this tablet. And screen cam you can get, get from uh, a different app store called um, uh, F Droid, which is a free open source app store. So you're not, you know, you're not going to get download these bad apps that are doing things that you weren't expecting. So I have it set to 1080p, 30 frames per second. Uh, the only issue is that this isn't going to, the way that the orientation is going to come out, I have to like rotate it in my video editing software, but it should be okay. So I'm going to hit record. Now, I don't know how, how well the audio is going to come out. I haven't really tune that i've tried it a couple times but it's a little low in that regard so we're gonna do that and we're gonna go back to art flow here so we're gonna art flow and now i have this set up here so and I, I do have the tablet so i can still touch the pinch to zoom it's a little bit quicker to do than trying to like go down and mess with my mouse i can probably set up custom keys for like rotation and stuff like that but you know i, I still get full access to this here so uh let me let me bring this up here See where we at we are at the pen mode is this okay so that is it's not good uh let's go back here um so yeah i'm, I'm going to go ahead and do a, a little montage here that you'll see uh, with me trying to do this up i'll have some <laughs> moments of just configuring it to better work with this keyboard for example uh, if i want to go from brush to eraser it's p but this single hand keyboard does not have it so i'll be using uh going to settings here and messing with those as well
So I'm gonna stop here for now because um, <laughs> I, I probably need to redraw this a couple more times. The leg right here specifically uh, needs to be rethought. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, uh, this is just my drone experience on the Kindle Fire HD 10 Plus. You can see that uh, because of Google Play services, I'm able to install on this. I can download Artflow. The Artflow that is on the Kindle Fire App Store has not been updated for a very, very long time. And I definitely do like drawing on this tablet in, in general. It's very bright. It's a big screen, bigger than like the 7 or 8th generation or 7 or 8 inch uh, Kindle Fire tablets themselves. The wireless is definitely... Uh, a, a plus in that you know I'm not losing battery I'm not limited by how long I can draw but I got other stuff I got to do today so yeah I'm gonna leave it here and you guys can decide what you want to you know potentially derive from my experience here you probably won't have this ridiculous setup of all these things that attach to here but you see that it has zero impact on it I'm able to be very capable uh, in, in the work I'm doing